Hello everyone, here is a quick video on how to factory reset this TP-Link TDW9970 300 megabits wireless N USB VDSL ADSL modem router. In my example here, I've got it configured with a password that I've forgotten and on an IP address that isn't the default IP address. So the router here is responding on 10.99.99.1 and over here, when I'm done with the factory reset, I want it to be responding on 192.168.1.1. So this should stop responding to pings and this should start responding to pings. On the back of the router, you have next to the power button one that is called WPS and then forward slash reset. So that's a shared button for connecting wireless devices and also resetting this router. What I'm going to try and do, trouble is it's very bright in this room, is uh, see if I can get in the way of the sunlight. And then I'm going to hold down the reset button. You can see what the lights on the front of the router do and, uh, and how long you need to hold it down for and when to let go. So my finger is on the button. I'm going to let you know when I'm going to press it. And I'm going to press it now. All of the lights along here have come on, and I'm going to let go. So if you do a short press, that will do the WPS function for connecting another wireless device. If you do the long press, then uh, all of these lights come on, and at that point you can let go of the button, and then eventually the power light will start flashing. Over here on the computer, we've got the custom IP has stopped responding to pings, and on the other side, the default IP address has not yet started responding to pings but that shouldn't be too long until the router's finished booting up and is back on the default settings. There we go. We're now on 192.168.1.1 and this router will have lost all of its custom settings and is now back to, uh, to factory defaults and when you log on it will go through the uh, router setup wizard again. There we go. Hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notification switched on, but the subscriber numbers really do help. Thanks very much.